What you are about to see is one of the most important pieces of art on artificial intelligence today. It shows the possibilities of AI as much as its dangers. You will see different people and hear different voices on artificial intelligence that were never said nor ever thought of by these people. With artificial intelligence, we can make people say things they would never say or make them do things they would never do. With technology that is now available to everyone. If advanced to take over the world, AI will have to become adept at navigating the physical world. Robots will have to be able to move around and operate in houses and cities and mountains and forests, at least as dexterously and efficiently as humans. If they cannot move around the physical world, how can they possibly take it over? The bad news is that to threaten the survival of human civilization, AI doesn't really need consciousness, and it doesn't need the ability to move around the physical world. AI has just hacked the operating system of human civilization. The operating system of every human culture in history has always been language. For thousands of years, prophets and poets and politicians have used language and storytelling in order to manipulate and to control people and to reshape society. Now, AI is likely to be able to do it. So it doesn't need to send killer robots to shoot us. It can get humans to pull the trigger, if it really needs to. Reality is often just fiction in our own minds. If you believe, as we do, that at some point AI, AGI, is going to be extremely, unbelievably potent, then it just does not make sense to open source. Be fucked up. We always said don't put them on the open internet, don't teach them to code, and don't have agents working with them until we know what we're putting out in the world, until we find a way to make certain that they have our best interest in mind. My advice to a 20-year-old entrepreneur is to drop everything. You should focus entirely on AI. This is the biggest shift ever. It's a Gutenberg press in times of billion because it's not just writing. It's image, 3D, it's everything, it's creation. It's creativity and extrapolation. Uh, I mean, it's a great PR move by the big corporations. The more people talk and obsess over it, the more the corporations profit. Basically, you will be forced to subscribe to a lot of different services which you actually really don't need, but you have to pay for. I think that's the business model, more or less. It can inspire. And it makes this beautiful, sometimes touching, sometimes funny images. And it's really just an extension of your imagination. There isn't even a canvas or the boundaries of paper are not there anymore. You can just extend it. You look at the reactions of humans to AI. I mean, these are ignorant people who will tell you, oh, no, no, this is not happening. I will never be creative. They will never compose music. Like, here are you living. AI cannot draw. It can interpolate information, but it cannot draw. It can never capture a feeling or a countenance or the softness of a human face, you know? I would think it, as Miyazaki says, an insult to life itself. You always get those people just vant to be proven right. Okay, and so they'll say, oh no, but hold on, human ingenuity. They'll never, they'll never match that. Like, ma'am, please, please, you know, human ingenuity is algorithmic. And as our generative models become extraordinarily good, they will have, I claim, a shocking degree of understanding of the world and many of its subtleties. But it's not just the world. It is the world as seen through the lens of text. It tries to learn more and more about the world through a projection of the world on the space of text as expressed by human beings on the internet. But still, this text already expresses the world. These renderings do not relate to reality. They relate to the totality of crap online. So that's basically their field of reference, right? And how does the relation to reality change? How does the relation to truth change? How are those tools also tied in with a huge infrastructure which produces a lot of carbon emission and actively heats the climate? We cannot take energy supply for granted, nor can we take the internet for granted. There are many different situations in which these technologies fail or are blocked, for example, by autocracies in riots or by the fact that there is devastation of some kind. The likelihood of something incredibly disruptive happening within the next two years that can affect the entire planet is definitely larger with AI than it is with climate change. But I'm optimistic. It's interesting, it's scary because change always is. But as long as we have koalas riding bicycles, I think we're headed in the right direction.